Alright, today we're going to be working on a 2006 Honda Pilot two-wheel drive. Most most Honda Pilots are all-wheel drive, but this one is a two-wheel drive. Well, the project is uh, changing up the accelerator pedal sensor. There's a uh, engine light that came on. I f uh, forgot what the P0 code is, but uh, it's it points out that the accelerator pedal sensor is going out. Um, so what I'm doing is um, replacing the part. Uh, so you unplug the sensor harness and then there's a cover that uh, has two screws and they're 10 millimeters. Once you release those two screws you can take the cover off. So the next step is to uh, take the accelerator cable off. That cable it has a um, 212 millimeter that's attached to it. Just on loosen up one side, so when you put the uh, attach the cable back on, you can just screw that one side back on, and the setting should be back in place. But that cable is the uh, when it, that cable is pulled, it, it, show, it you know it accelerates the vehicle. Now, once you loosen that up, you're going to have to pry this cable off with a pry bar pull the cable and the wire out to the side so it won't be in your way now the accelerator pedal sensor is on a bracket and it's uh, held by two 10 millimeter screws just loosen those up and it'll be loose and behind there there's a cable that's uh, clipped on to the bracket so just kind of pinch it and it'll just come back come apart there you have it, the accelerator pedal sensor. Now we're going to take it to the work table and replace it with a new. So here we have the old part here, the accelerator that's on the bracket. You can see here there's three and then there's two so we're not going to take the three bolts off it's just the two that we're going to uh, loosen up and that will release the sensor from the bracket make sure you remember which way the sensor sets on the bracket because you don't want to put it backwards I mean there's not really a way to put it backwards but you know always try to remember or take photos or images of what you're working on so you remember which way it goes back on here's the new part SU7799 and there you have it da, da, da. so I'm going to compare it side by side. Always compare your parts from new to the old. Make sure it looks identical. Back, front, side to side. And then the sensor connection, harness connection. Make sure the 
everything looks like it will connect and fit. Sometimes it's good to take it to where you connect it to and see if it'll connect because you don't want to put everything back together and then and then the and then the you know cable doesn't connect. So I'm gonna put the new part sensor back on to the, the bracket. Again it's just two ten millimeter. Always hand tight it. I started out with hand tightening it and then follow with a tool to tighten the lead or torque it down. And you don't need to torque it too much, just enough for it just snugs. And there you go, the new one on, on the bracket. Ready to go. Time to take it back to the vehicle and put it all back in place. Out with the old, in with the new. So here we are back to the vehicle with the new sensor. So basically how we took it off is just reverse it and put it back on. 10 millimeter, two 10 millimeter screws that bolts onto the vehicle. Torque it down. Click the cable behind the bracket. Put the accelerator pedal cable back on. it so it doesn't break loose next we're going to put the cover back on remember there's two 10 millimeter bolts or yeah bolts that hold it down to the bracket and tightening it and then come back with the tool and torque it down. After that get your harness connection grip that piece back onto the bracket and then plug in the sensor and there you have it accelerator pedal sensor if you have any questions feel free to ask or leave a comment please subscribe thank you Thank you.